So we have actually a whole bunch. One of them is, of course, my favorite. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and in today's video, I am opening up yet another mystery coin grab bag from Amazon.com. Yeah, this little guy is the whole thing. Well, if you're an OG viewer of my channel, you'll know that I have opened up a very similar grab bag in the past. It is the infamous Moenik or Monich, no clue how to pronounce it, World Coin Grab Bag. If you missed that video, you can check it out over here. But why did I buy another one? Well, this one is advertised as the new version. They still have the original version up, so I'd love to know what the difference is. I can't really tell from the listing, but we're gonna open this up and see if I got $15 worth of world coins that I spent on it. Spoiler alert, I'm not super optimistic. But in any case, it'll be fun to open it up. Let's check it out. All right, here we go, check it out. This is the grab bag, as you can see, it is labeled over 50 different world C, world coins, half pound grab bag, new. The original one said original. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. Now, what's important to note is that this grab bag cost $15. Now, that's not a ton of money, but normally, for a pound of mixed world coins, it's usually about $8. That does range a little bit, but ooh, this is a nice little baggie at least. Nice little baggie. Now, let's just adjust the view a little. But basically, normally it is about $8 a pound for these coins. However, this was $15 for half a pound, making it really like $30 a pound. So already not off to a great start. But here, take a look little sneak peek. If there's anything interesting, please note it in the comments. Um, but let's just pour it out and start looking at these wonderful mixed world coins. So take a look. Last time, if you remember, we got a ton of duplicates. We got just a ton of the same coins. And unfortunately, I'm already seeing a ton of what look like these one cent euro coins and two cent euro coins. So it looks like there is not going to be a lot of variety. So I don't really see the difference between the old version and the new version yet, but uh, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna start organizing this and then we will take you on a little tour. Ta-da! And that made my fingers filthy. So while I've already can tell without really looking too closely that there's nothing here of, of real value. I mean, this is certainly not $15 worth of coins. So if you're looking to buy this for an investment, well, pfft, thumbs down for sure. But if you're looking to buy this for a kid that you want to teach about geography and the world and economy and currencies, well, it's not actually a bad idea. I mean, of course, you could go to your local coin store and you could just buy this for way, way less money, probably about $4. But if you don't have access to that, then you definitely can order this. Though, uh, of course, as you can see, I wouldn't recommend it. But this is definitely better than the old one. Now, it has a lot more variety. We've got a bunch of coins from Europe, a bunch of coins from the Caribbean, coins from South America, coins from Asia. There's a whole lot of variety, although we did get a lot of duplicates again. As you can see here, these are coins from the UK, and these are all one pence coins. Yeah, there might be different years, but effectively, these are the same freaking coins. So these are pretty worthless, but you know, now I've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. So that's a little disappointing. And we did get a bunch, like I said, of these one cent Euro coins, but at least we got different versions. So let's take a look at the different versions we got. We got some duplicates, of course, but let's take a gander. So these are the different versions. Uh, I will need some help in the comments to identify them. I believe this one is Germany, correct me if I'm wrong. Then we have what I believe is France, but again, correct me if I'm wrong. And then we have Spain, and we have 
the Netherlands. So if you collect Euro coins, well, this might actually be not too bad. And there's actually one more. I believe this one is Slovenia, is that right? They're really small and hard to read, especially through the camera. So anybody can help me out on that as well. So we have 11 of these. And we also got a couple of the two cent Euro coins and one of the five cent Euro coins. So this is the Italy five cent Euro coin, of course, with the Colosseum on it. And I believe again, this is the French one. You can correct me if I'm wrong. This one, not too sure on. Somebody can put it in the comments. And again, I think this one is Germany. So a couple of those. Now the highest denomination coin I think that we got, or one of the uh, higher denomination coins, is a 1972 one golden from the Netherlands. Now this is a pretty common coin, nothing too special, of course it's not silver, but we did get one other interesting coin that is actually quite a interesting find. This is another Dutch coin from the Netherlands, but you can see it says Dutch Antillen. So this is the Dutch Antilles, so this is actually one of their uh, colonies. And it's actually a beautiful coin, and if you are one of the people that are trying to collect one coin from every issuing country in the world uh, and throughout history, then this would actually be kind of a nice win. This is not like a super common coin that you would find in a lot of these kind of grab bags. So, so far that's the best coin. And we have just two more European coins. These are Swedish coins, two Swedish one kroner coins. And I'm not such a fan. Uh, there's nothing really super special about these, but they are two of the larger coins. So that is it for the European coins. Let's move on to Central and South America. Now over here on the bottom, we have two coins from Argentina. And on top, we have one coin from El Salvador and one from Belize. Now, these are not the most exciting coins in the world. These are not particularly valuable, obviously. But if you are, again, trying to collect one coin from every country in the world, this wouldn't be the worst collection to buy because you are knocking out a whole bunch of different countries. So if you were just starting out, I could see being happy with this lot because of the variety, even though it's not worth the money. Now moving a bit northward, we have four coins from Mexico. We actually have a fifth, but it is a duplicate of this. We have the older version of the 10 centavo coin. We have the newer version of the 10 centavo coin, and we have the 10 peso and 20 peso coins. And I've always liked the design of the obverse, or I should say the reverse, I believe, of the Mexican coins. But, uh, you know, again, not really worth too much. Um, so that does it for all of the North and Central American coins, uh, or the North, Central, and South American coins, I should say. But we do have some more coins from what you might call the Americas. Over here, we have a bunch of coins from the Caribbean. Now, before we look at these, I do want to just shout out two of my amazing fans, Jake and Noah. Now, Jake and Noah, you know who you are. Uh, these are two of the cousins of a friend of mine, and it turns out that they are big Silver Picker fans, so I just wanted to give them a little shout out in this video. I got to meet them over a video chat just last week, and uh, it was great getting a chance to chat with some of my young fans. So shout out to you guys. Keep up the great work with your collections, and who knows, maybe you guys will have a YouTube channel of your own someday. All right taking a look at the Caribbean coins. So we have actually a whole bunch. One of them is, of course, my favorite. Just by looking here, I'd like you to guess and see if you can figure out what my favorite one is. I bet some of you already know, especially if you're OG fans. But let's take a look here one by one. Over here, we have a coin from the Bahamas. It is a one cent coin. I've always loved this starfish on these Bahamian coins. Uh, I really think it's a neat design, even though, of course, these are basically worthless. And we got a couple of those. In addition to that, we also got one coin from the Cayman Islands. I really do love the look of these, of these uh, island coins. I mean, this bird is beautiful. I don't know what kind of bird it is. Somebody, I'm sure, will tell me. But anyway, we got two of those. Over here with one of the larger coins, this one I love. You guys all know that I love nautical themed coins. I don't know why, but I just love coins with ships. Um, and this is a 25 cent coin 
from the Caribbean states. So this is a, sort of a collective of different Caribbean states. This one's from 2004. And we've got a picture, of course, of the Queen of England. This is another coin from the Bahamas. This one is from 1998, it looks like. We've got a couple of fish on there. If you collect coins with animals on them, then these are really, really great. We've got another Caribbean States coin, five cents. This one's pretty boring, if you ask me. We've got another Bahamas coin. I think this is also a five cent coin. And we've got a little pineapple on there. I actually like the simplicity of this and the design. I think they did a really good job on that. And over here, a 25 cent coin with a windmill, it looks like. And this one is from Barbados. This is uh, the only country of these uh, island nations that I've actually been to. And I'm sure some of you guessed it, that the Republic de Cuba coin is my favorite. I am fascinated with Cuba. I've not yet visited. It's just a kind of bizarre and interesting country from a sort of historical perspective. Uh, certainly the communist government has made it sort of a very interesting and unusual country from an American perspective. But uh, I am definitely interested in visiting there someday as a tourist. And this is a really interesting coin. And while we're on the topic of animals, we have two five cent coins from Australia. And I've always loved the Australian coins. I think that the animals being sort of front and center is uh, really, really beautiful. Um, and you can see the obverse over here again with Queen Elizabeth. And just a really, really nice coin. Again, not worth anything, but nice nonetheless. Let's move on to Asia. We have three Indian coins. We have two five rupee coins and one 50 uh, pice coins. Uh, I believe that's like 50 cents or 50 rupee cents as, as you might call it. Uh, it's got a fist here. I wonder what that represents, but it is actually a pretty cool design. Uh, I've never seen a coin that's just a fist. Um, that is pretty cool. This is more what you sort of expect to see from Indian coins. Um, but this one is actually probably one of the coolest ones in this lot. Talking duplicates, we have five of the same coin from Thailand. That is disappointing. I do not like seeing the lack of variety. The only thing that this freaking lot has going for it is variety. So once you start messing with the variety and giving, you know, five of the same boring, worthless coin, that's when it starts to get into uh, sort of the, uh, I don't want to call it a scam territory, but certainly a ripoff territory. We also have one coin from Russia. So more Eurasia, I guess you could say, but we have one Russian coin. We'll go back to East Asia in a second. Nothing too special here. We have two coins from Korea. These are each uh, 100 won, I believe. So we've got two Korean uh, won coins, one from 1988 and one from 2006. I've been to Korea, of course. Uh, you've heard that in my other videos. This is a cool one. This is from Indonesia, and it's got a lot going on there. It's got the bust, and it's also got a little uh, icon or emblem here, a little shield. And on the reverse, we have the 100 rupiah coin from 2010. Over here, one piso from the Philippines. You know I'm doing a Philippines typeset. This one does not fit in the album. Uh, it is too new. A fan actually sent me this and a bunch of other coins from the Philippines in my P.O. Box. So you can see it in one of my P.O. Box uh, unboxing videos, my mail call videos. And over here we just have a little coin from Japan. Really nothing too interesting, nothing too special. And we have, last but not least, a coin from Hong Kong and a coin from China. So here we go, we have the Chinese coin. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, it might be a Taiwanese coin in particular, but I believe it is a Chinese coin. And over here, we have the coin from Hong Kong to end the video. This one is from 1957. So as you can see, this is by far the oldest coin in this lot, and that's why I decided to end on it, because it is the nicest coin in this lot. So we have a picture of the queen, uh, a bust of the queen on the obverse, and we have a bunch of Chinese characters on the reverse. So there you have it. This is the Moenich new WorldCoin half pound grab bag. 
Now, the only difference that I see is that it's slightly more varied, although we did get a whole bunch of duplicates. Even if you don't count the one euro coins as duplicates because some of them are different, we got nine of these one pence coins. We got five of these tie coins. We got a couple of other doubles. And that is disappointing because really, this is about four times the price that it should be. Again, a half a pound of coins, world coins mixed modern, should be about $4, uh, $8 a pound or so. You know, maybe nine or $10 you could get away with, but really we're talking here more like four bucks a pound. So this is $15, way overpriced, really not special coins. But if you were, I guess, lazy, didn't have time to go to a coin store and wanted to get this for a very young or new collector, then I could see this being enjoyable. You do get to learn about different countries. You do get to learn about different eras in numismatic history. So is it a recommend? No, don't go out and buy this. Go to your local coin store and get something worthwhile. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up on it. It'll help spread the word, help people learn all about coin collecting. And if you wanna see more videos like this, definitely hit that big old red subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. I make videos every week about coin collecting, precious metals investing, personal finance, alternative investments, and much, much more. So if you like the video, stick around because we got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys rock. You guys are what allow me to make videos like this, what allow me to make purchases like this and share them with the world to help new collectors. So thank you all so much. If you're interested in becoming a patron, the links are below. Can't wait to meet you in the Discord.